So I'm out here uh, picking trash. That's what I do. I'm always after objects, and I, I especially need a, a paintbrush. People were painting out here, and I'm hoping that I could find just what I need um, to help me uh, finish a, a duck I'm working on. Uh, this is going to be the bill of, of a duck, um, and I'll. I'll take you take you inside and show you what what all's going on there. You like the painting? So this is my shop or studio, you could say. Um, I got a lot of things here. Um, you could check it out in this big mirror, get a sense of the shop. Um, it's I'm Leo Sewell. I'm a, a junk sculptor, assembler of found objects, and I've been doing that for over 50 years, I'll have to say, and, um, and I still love it. And, well, this is the kind of thing that I make. Um, this is a boxer dog. And you can see that he's composed of of objects, of found objects. Here's the head of a golf club. Here's a, a brush for polishing your shoe, a, a brooch and a bracelet, um, a kid's badge. And the idea is that each one of these objects, you can see what it is and that it had this other life. And that at the same time, it's this assemblage. Of, of a recognizable almost always piece of nature you know this this is this is a dog I have I have many forms um, I'd like to show you one, one of my girlfriends um, this this big brass babe um, with her golden globes I, I uh, you, know, you can't if you're an artist you can't resist the female form um, the, this is a trophy for a chef, all out of restaurant equipment. Um, and to give a full sense of of my collection, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what all I have here. Um, well, I have these drawers. These drawers are labeled by the kind of animal. If I were going to make a pig, I have pig things in the pig drawer. And... and Okay, and and uh, like I mean, I haven't done a cow in a long time, so I mean, I I have all these cow things. I mean, you I don't always include cow things in a cow. For example, that boxer doesn't have boxer things in it so much, but I give myself this option, and because isn't that neat? See the cow in this little little milking. Um, I I I just the thing is I just love objects. I love the manufactured object. I grew up near a um, a dump, and I just kept bringing home junk. And my parents said, "Well, you got to do something. You can't just have a pile of junk." And so I started building with it. Uh, oh, this is more about horse, and this is a horse award. I do make horses, um, and 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 so they encouraged me to build. It wasn't really about art; it was about it was about a, an ethic, really. My parents lived through the depression, and and you you have to build; you can't just take things apart. And and so this has expanded for me. Um, for all these years and now I have other collections I'd like to show you uh, these are these are small brooch items small pieces of jewelry this drawer I, I love the most it's all um, well I'm sort of like a a crow you know I, I just like shiny things and and uh, but I have to be careful about my things I want my things to um, 
survive, to not oxidize. When I make a sculpture, I, I don't want it to, um, to degrade. And so uh, these materials are chosen not only for the, the fun value, but for the uh, aspect of durability. And, and, and then if they can bend, I can do more with them. For example, this is, uh, I, I, this was part of a candle. Oh, no, I think it was part of a napkin ring. It had a ring on there to be a napkin ring. Uh, somebody gave it to me. They were cleaning out. And, and, I, and so I wanted to make sure that it was not steel because I don't want magnetic steel. I keep a magnet around all the time uh, to test these things. So this is not magnetic, so it's not going to rust and so I'm happy to have it and include it in my collection just a few a few other things here I mean look at this piece this was from a letter opener uh, it's an atlas rocket that I believe went to the moon and, and I mean how precious is that and it also has some age to it and and the idea of nostalgia, I can't resist the idea of, of nostalgia. I mean, a lot of these objects are not new. They 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 show age, and also they show patina. Um, patina is different than de degradation. Patina is the the difference that use makes, and 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 that gives a warm feeling. And and uh, this is one of, of, of many of that collection. I'll just show you uh, in, in these other drawers. For example, here's a whole drawer of, of uh, corn holders. Um, and then I have drawers of, of watches. Uh, <clears throat> I have drawers, well, the, here's pocket watches. I have watch bands. Um, oh, here's some small cars little little people little toy people i mean sometimes th this could be a toe um actually i have a whole toe drawer there's probably a this collection of maybe a hundred a hundred fifty thousand objects is going to uh be used again and and so in a sense i exist to um to give new life to to objects and, and with that philosophy a lot of my friends and even people i don't know give me things because then their things can live again in 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 a uh in the form of a sculpture and and specifically i'm going to try to um show you how I integrate these objects. Um, the the piece in in progress here now is is this duck, which is mostly completed, um, but maybe there's going to be 20 more objects on there. But the most significant piece is is this um, this brush handle. See, I'm going to take this brush apart. I think I can do it readily, and and uh, it's just I, I use simple hand tools, and and um, it, it, I don't use glue. I hate glue; it's all sticky, and it also has this time aspect. So I I use fasteners, and um, so that's what I'm going to do here. This is going to go there. I got to take some of this off, um, so that's what I have this this bandsaw for, and I'll just do a little bit of that. I still have all my fingers. So this is going to be screwed down there, as I said, uh, fasteners. And so um, I use a couple different drills here.
Okay. The cordless drill has changed my life a lot. And and so has the even just the the fact that now uh Phillips head and you can use power drivers readily um, but other than that I'm I'm really in the um, this is not high technology I mean I uh, and I'll have to say that the other thing there's there's so many artists that are threatened by um, the digital revolution like, musicians especially and I'm just glad that they haven't figured out a way to make these uh, digitally yet um, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this this wood off off of here because you know uh, sculpture is is cutting the word sculpt means to cut but really what I'm doing is is um, is adding but at the same time I'm subtracting too as you'll see right here and eventually I'm not going to do all this now but I'm going to give you a sense because the head of the duck is 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 more than that um, this is part of a, a shoe tree from the uh, probably from the early 60s and and, and that's going to go there and I'm going to trim this egg to to make that fit there and and a few more probably shiny pieces um, will fit around and and help form the head and there'll be more um, intriguing pieces on this neck maybe handles of spoons and stuff to fully form um, my 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 uh, the look that I want there's a term called har vacui meaning fear of plainness so that this would be the worst thing you could look at so it's har vacui fear of plainness so I want just the opposite I want it to be as busy and as colorful and varied of material and objects that it's a, a feast for the eye, really, is what I'm after. Um, just one, yeah, one other quick point about this. The, the artist that was so uh, important, significant to me was um, Marcel Duchamp. And um, he brought in the use of the found to objects, and he was so enigmatic and and one piece he made was called with hidden noise which we have here in the Philadelphia Museum and it's really a rattle and so I've I've made these pieces to have a rattle there's nothing coming apart there it's just a rattle and partly as a tribute to Duchamp and partly because my work is so playful and and really my best audience is children and and so so in all my small pieces I put a rattle um, I I'm gonna just show you a little more of, of 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 my shop here some more drawers of things this is a beginning of a Scotty um, I guess that would be the armature I sort of build an animal out of uh, and, and like these, you, in a sense, I build the bones, and then I do the flesh, and then I do the skin, in, in, in some sense. Um, and I can use a lot of wonderful wooden objects, like this wonderful Swedish horse. And, oh, I, I, I have boxes of variety of wooden objects that all hopefully can be recognized for the life they've led. Um, these are some of the smaller wood, wooden objects and here's something that people would love the business of these oh, look at these little elephants that's almost a finished piece for me I mean look at all that except that it doesn't have 
the variety of material and texture that mine do, but just by first glance, it's, it's the color of that and, and the variety. Um, these are drawers of fasteners and different supplies. Um, I have drawers of just bolts. These are drawers of drills. These are drawers of screws. The, the witch. Um, the uh, oh, these drawers are. I yeah, it, it's a good way to go. I mean, because they have the the clear fronted. I once counted there are twenty two hundred different categories that I have here, and that was a while to go. This is one intriguing pile. So the, these are fake teeth and then there's even fake fake teeth um, and jokes about fake teeth I mean when you categorize these things there's so many overlaps in wrong places I mean I have collections that are just aluminum collections that are just stainless but then stainless could also be a cup holder or a, a handle of, of a broom or an umbrella um, I'll just quickly And uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to show you some more of these. Uh, 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 my sensors are not all together. I'm um, just going to show you a little bit more of the pieces that are. Uh, the, this, this is a commission, a couple of flamingos that I made. I have other, uh, as you can see, they're just usually forms of, of nature. Another one of my girlfriends, a penguin, and there's a cat. Here's the same duck, but done in brass pieces. And, and there's a few more here. I, I have uh, an apple. And so, okay, so now I'm working just in red objects. And here, here, here's a pig and a couple other animals, but always with with the rattle as a tribute to Duchamp. Um, okay, uh, just a little closer look at, at the flamingos. These will be installed in a, uh, in, a, in a Florida setting. And so they have a little Florida references on them. There's, there's a Florida from a license plate. And here's actually even a flamingo brooch. It's nice to add another layer of that, and it has some of the pink. I mean, you, you can't capture every aspect that you want in a piece, but you do what you can. And, and, you, and I keep doing it because I love to do it, and I just love to play with my junk. And, and uh, I'm happy that you could come here. I hope this has been a good introduction to my life and um, so this is the feature for us today and this can show a little bit about the sense of nostalgia like golf clubs aren't made like that anymore this is a symbol from a Thunderbird from 25 30 years ago but oh, and there's a duck on the duck um, I hope you enjoy th this piece I actually affected to write my wife's name on it. Her name is Barbara, and I, I just wanted more texture, and that's what came to mind. But most of the pieces I really don't affect. I take them as, as I find them. I hope you enjoyed this quick visit to my studio and introduction to the, the work that I do. And um, I thank you for coming to my studio and, and goodbye for now.